it just looked like a lake down there. We're hitting the lake, boys. <laughs> that is dope. Yeah, why are you guys taking me to a cold place to go fishing? Right, come back to <laughs> <in> the island. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another beautiful morning and adventure on the bite. You might notice that Chris, myself, and Jay Bao are all here. It's been a solid two months since we got to do that together. Right. I've only been back in the country about three days. And I leave for Florida tomorrow, so he, I had to drag him out. This is our window of opportunity to uh, have a little little throw down and chill sesh with the boys. And I, I think today is gonna be allowing the fly rods to get wet. Um, I brought mine with me, so we all got fly rods today, but you're dang right I brought my spinning rod. No, I'd really, really like to see this guy wrestle a steelhead on a, uh, a fly rod before the season ends. Um, and I think today is a very possible chance of that. The chance of getting a steelhead, the chance of fish being in the river, It's you know, it's, it doesn't get much better as far as guaranteeing there's fish around. So sit back, relax. We're gonna be cold. You guys stay warm and let's do this. Peace. So I'm running 10 pound liter this little tiny pink kind of a uh, egg almost a little jig pattern it was in with the eggs down at caddis fly shop i don't know what it's called it's just a little little tough pink it's got a little weighted head on it i got this little indicator float so i'm basically rocking like a mini mini um bobber dog and jig setup i'm gonna run that little bad boy through this hole and see if we can't get a steelhead to decide they like the look of it so So I knew it was gonna be cold back in Oregon. You know, I've lived here my whole life. It's cold even when you're used to living here. It's cold and you just deal. But my fingers are just freezing. I don't know if my hands stopped circulating blood in the same way because it, it got warm. I don't know if I got dependent on that tropical weather for my blood to flow, but my hands are just, they're, they're starting to actually seize up and harden because of how cold it is. It's not that cold out. It's like above freezing right now. It's like in the in the it's like in the mid 30s out here. So I just <laughs> just hooked Chris's, Chris's uh, spinning rod back there. Oh yeah, I forgot there's the dope waterfall. Yeah, check out this camping spot. It's like, no one can camp across from you. Chris has been holding out on me guys, and we've been fishing this stretch of the river for a couple of years together now. And He's always like, ah, yeah, that hole's not very good. I can't show him the camping spot. We, dude, we get down here and it's just, it's beautiful. Like, I've never caught a fish here. That's just because Chris sucks at fishing. It. He's casting the fly rod out there. That beautiful water in the background. I don't know, is it on the cam right now? Now it's on the cam. That waterfall is just ridiculous back there. What a backdrop. What a backdrop. You know, it's, it's hard to beat Oregon in the spring. Dude, that's a nice first, little cutty. First, first fish of 2021. That's a nice fish, too. It's a nice little wild trout there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Full Look at him go. Josh ended up hooking a really, really nice cutthroat trout. Slammed that animal fly. Yeah, what, was he first cast or what? Yeah, just drifted down, swung it. Look at that big old fly. 
to the side pan. Smashed it. Smashed it. Yeah, buddy. Later, guy. Yeah. Yeah. First fish 2021. Fucking A. Boom. Waterfall in the background. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I feel it. Top of the world, baby. Top of the world, baby. <laughs> So after we did like the subtle approach, it's time for Chris to throw that spinner in there. All right guys, so they have thrown a bunch of flies through the zone. Asher's flying drone. So I'm gonna sneak some spinner action in. Fish. Fish on. I don't have any cam on my tackle. Nice. How'd you do that? Dang it. Yeah, you, just, you, just, you just touch the bottom all the way through the hole. It's almost like cheating in a way if you're, you know, if I'm going against a fly, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm getting into it the whole time. Oh, it. oh nice I got up. that on cam though. It was a wild fish. Woo! Yeah, hell boy. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's all I wanted, a little tug. A little, a little morning tug. Jesus. Ah, I spit the hook, but bam. I could die happy if that happened. Nice fish. Skinny. Super skinny. That looks like, I think that fish is spawned probably. Beautiful. It's got, it's got the cuts. Yeah, yeah, super classic cuts. And like, it, for how skinny it is and how big of a beak it has on him, I bet he was a lot plumper just, just a couple months ago. Hi, baby. Sweet yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> so far, Josh is the only one who's actually landed any fish. Little Cuddy. Oh, I lose every fish. Even if they were just a couple beautiful little cutthroats, that's always part of the game. Really, we're just coming out here and drifting flies, jigs, and spinners through holes to see what happens. Uh, pretty much anything we catch is going to get let go. So be nice to catch a real big trout. One of those big steel headed sea run rainbow sided ones, silver, silver and red sided ones, but a beautiful little cutthroat. That's always an uh, awesome consolation prize if you're not into a steelhead yet. I think we're still going to get into one though. So it's going to be a good day. Look how beautiful it is out here. Check out these things. I don't know, they kind of remind me of like a succulent. It's like a native growing succulent in Oregon. It's all over this rock wall. It's pretty cool. So if anybody knows what that is, let me know. Like it literally looks just like a succulent of some sort. I don't know, does Oregon have succulents? Well guys, all things must come to a close. Even though we're not done here, we got one more hole, but if that one doesn't stick, we're heading out. We'll be back maybe next season for this one. You never know. As long as I'm alive. I just as long as I Ash just, is alive, lines will be getting wet. It's gonna. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go check out another hole. 
and then probably do like an outro then all that kind of stuff but it's been a hell of a day the sunshine out here is so majestic and amazing yeah one more hole one more hole boys one more one more There's fish. Chase it. Chase it. So I immediately just tried to turn the drone and send it down river a little bit to follow Chris and, um, and Josh as they were trudging through bushes. It was a wild little uh, little run to watch them get down there. Damn, he's way down there. Come on, stay in the south. there and sure enough right at the last second after all of that work the uh oh. fish busted the line i touched it <laughs> dude i've never chased a eight pound fish that far <laughs> in my life <laughs>